Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of TJ's Thoughts. Hmm. So, uh, today, I am going to give you my thoughts on Future Girl, episode 2. Uh, first things first, uh, I, I mentioned, uh, the, uh, I mentioned for the last episode there was a lot of things I liked about it. Overall, I really liked the show. Uh, but there are quite a few other things I'm like, you know what, maybe not this, maybe not that. Um, the second episode, uh, really, in, in my personal opinion, I think the second episode gave me a lot of what I was wanting from the first episode, but I didn't get. Um, uh, M is uh, fantastic in this. I mentioned last time that some of her acting choices I didn't quite agree with, just from that kind of overacting you know, style of uh, comedic acting. Um, uh, this time, she didn't really change any of her choices, but for whatever reason, whether it's just I'm getting more used to the character uh, or uh, it just fit into the scenes better or whatever, uh, I didn't mind it. I thought she was hilarious in this episode, um, especially uh, uh, towards the end, you get to see this this very kind of absurd aspect you know they 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 have a problem in this episode they take it to the nth degree uh and i think they pulled off really really well it's really funny uh so i thought m did a really really great job um gina uh who plays M. am actually gonna bring up the cast list here so i know who i'm talking about again uh so yeah gina uh DeVivo did brilliantly uh amy dallin again was really really good uh, I think one of the things I enjoyed the most about this episode is there are just these really cool uh, little stingers that end scenes and uh, that accept, uh, uh, that end uh, some of the beats within scenes that are just perfectly well-timed. Um, they're really, really funny, and they generally kind of take you uh, a little bit for surprise because they're, they're really witty. Um, and uh, they're just, they're fun. Like this one in particular just has all these great kind of quotable uh, uh, portions of it that I just thought were brilliant. Um, so uh, Amy, Amy had quite a few of those as, as Curie. Um, Amy had uh, uh, quite a few of those and, and had these really kind of great accents to the scene um, and really plays the foil against M uh, really, really well against uh, Gina's uh, character M. Uh, the other thing that I was really, really happy about this time, um, Viking gets a lot more screen time and a lot more interaction with them. She still seems like kind of uh, a side character um, because most of the action for this episode, it's still very much Curie and M. Um, but uh, Viking has a much more uh, prominent role this time than she did last time, and she's so funny. Uh, I love the interactions that she has. Um, I don't think she has quite as many of just those quotable, really funny lines. Um, but because she plays the uh, uh, the straight the straight man, the straight person uh, so well, uh, she sets up her co-stars for these brilliant things. Uh, there's some sight gags that I really love uh, in there, and just a lot of silliness. So the whole episode is great. Um, the only thing I had a problem with, and this is me, uh, this is a, this is a problem I am probably the only person that has an issue with, with this particular thing. At the end, uh, they've taken this to the nth degree and there's a small scene, uh, that lasts for like 15 seconds, uh, or at least the part I don't like lasts for 15 seconds where they get into a, a slight physical altercation, um, I, uh, uh, I've, I've been a fight director. I've studied, uh, I've studied actual martial arts for over a decade. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing two decades now, um, or getting close to two decades now. Um, I've studied stage combat. Uh, uh, like I said, I've done fight direction and, uh, fight choreography and things like that. I am a huge stickler for combat. Uh, and, uh, uh, the particular thing was it was it was unbelievably obvious uh, that their intention uh, was to try and show this this very very harmless fight uh, that there was absolutely no chance that either actress could get hurt in it um, 
which again I've seen I've actually uh, I've actually directed a scene like that where they wanted to make sure it's completely safe and very very obvious that none of the uh, the uh, combatants involved were getting hurt so I understand that but it just turned out like Amy was swinging like this when her opponent was right here and they're all open hand and it's just to me personally those kind of uh, decisions for for stage combat while I understand the thought process behind them I can't stand them because it, for me personally, it completely takes me out of the scene uh, because I'm sitting there going, that's completely no one in their right mind, even someone who's completely inept at combat would ever do that. Um, it's such a minor thing that I am probably the only person in the world that has a problem with it, that there's absolutely no reason um, that anyone else will have an issue with it. Uh, but it's, I, I have to mention it because again, it's, it's the thing that I am a huge stickler on, uh, future girl, if you guys watch this and for next season, you need a fight director, uh, you are more than welcome to call me up. Um, I work for very cheap. Um, <laughs> we just have to find a way for me to get out to LA. So yeah, you know, if, if, uh, you don't mind brainstorming, you know, ways for me to hitchhike to LA, uh, you've got a fight director. Uh, for your 12 second fight scene next season. So uh, beyond that, it was so much fun. Uh, I like this sh uh, this episode better than the last one. Um, I'm really excited to see the uh, episode three, which is going to be the final one uh, because it gets better each time. I still would like something that involves Viking more than just kind of a side character that unfortunately gets. Uh, kind of involved in things. I would love to see an episode where Viking kind of moves the story along uh, as opposed to just kind of interacts with their story. Um, I have no idea if that's what episode three is going to be, but if you guys do a season two, um, I really like the character of Viking. I have no idea why. I think uh, Heather Wood uh, is as hilarious as her, uh, and I would love to see uh, more interaction between the three of them uh, opposed, uh, as opposed to just Curie and M interacting with each other and then every so often involving Viking. Um, beyond that, I loved the episode. If you guys haven't seen it yet, there are going to be links in the doobly-doo below. Please watch it. I've watched it, I think, four times now, five times, something like that. I've laughed every single time at the exact same points. It's just really funny and fun. Uh, so please, please watch it. Check it out. Um, in the comments below, let me know what your thoughts on the episode were. Um, they, uh, uh, like I said, I, I thought it was great uh, because there's only going to be one more episode of this. Uh, next, uh, TJ's thoughts. Uh, I'm going to need to know uh, what you guys want me to do TJ's thoughts on going forward because I'm going to run out of Future Girl episodes. So that's all for me today. Uh, and uh, I will see you guys next week, I think, uh, for some random vlogging. All right. Bye-bye.